Hi, I wanted to make a recording to introduce the Tachistoscope program to you. Uh, it was originally made for uh, agents, um, such as um, intelligence agents, um, drug agents, customs agents, and so on, to give them um, training and immediate recognition of things. The program uh, has also been used by uh, medical. It's also been used by uh, business people for immediate recognition of opportunities. It's uh, now even being developed for um, immediate recognition for pilots, especially helicopter pilots who do low flying and run into many dangers, many possible dangers, they must immediately recognize things. Well, it turns out that the remote viewing um, has the situation where you get flashes of um, impressions. And the immediate recognition of what's in those flashes and the full understanding of everything that's in that flash becomes very important to remote viewing. And therefore, the more you can grab from that flash of information, the better your remote viewing will be. So um, the different um, libraries that we have are for this program are for the different uses, agents, pilots, and now we have libraries for remote viewers. And I'm going to share my screen here and show you basically how this is used. Okay, I have uh, downloaded the zip file to my desktop here and I've created a new folder. Now, you can create a folder anywhere on your computer. This uh, program does not have to be registered with Microsoft or anything so that Microsoft can track your uses of it. Um, I don't like that, and so I program away from it. Uh, by the same token, if you want to delete this program, you don't have to go to the registry to delete it. Just delete the folder it's in and it's gone. Okay? Uh, there's no tracking of your use of it or anything else. Anyway, I uh, am going to double click on the zip file. That will show you what's in there. Highlight that and copy. Then paste it to the folder that you created. Now, once you get it into that folder, it's ready to go. Like I say, you don't have to register it, you don't have to install it or anything. And it has the manual, it has a readme first file, and that first that readme first file tells you the initial setup and all that. It also has a um, folder called categories and those categories are where we put all of the material that you will be looking at. Right now I'm going to uh, double click on tkistoscope.exe. When I do the program comes up. Now the program begins like this. You'll notice we have two libraries, one random pictures and one people pictures because you will be learning on random targets, but you will also later be learning to describe people and to remote view people. And so I've made these two categories for you. Okay, the screen, basic screen is blank. When you bring it up, there are two buttons here. Well, three, one exit. You can use the exit anytime you want. The instructions, when you click that, bring up the instructions for how to use the program. Notice that each different uh, picture library has its own set of instructions. Okay. Once you've read the instructions and you understand them, you say, okay, I understand. You click that button 
and you go back to the main screen. The second button is get a new picture. Uh, I'm going to go back to random pictures. I'm going to say get a new picture. You won't see it yet. That's right. Because now you want to set up how quick the flash is going to be. And so set up the time span. It goes from full time open to where it never closes to one minute open. So you can study it at length all the way down to one tenth of a second. Now I'm going to just set it right now for this demo for one second. Okay. You'll notice that when I did, a new button came up, says flash the picture. Now when I flash the picture, you don't do anything except look at the picture, study it, and see what's in it. Now you're only going to have one second now for this demo. Okay, ready? Here goes. Ah, now describe as many details as you can about what you saw in the picture. I know you saw something that looked like the Taj Mahal. Don't name it. Sketch it and describe as many things as you can about it. Okay. Now, did you notice anything about the atmosphere? Did you notice about the size? Did you notice about the width, the height, any of the details, any of the fancy shapes on it or anything else? If you think you notice something, but you're not sure what it is, and this happens during a remote viewing session as well. You task yourself to go back and look at it again. So in a remote viewing session, you got something as big and red. Okay. Oh, how red was it? Describe the red. Orangish red, cherry red. What was it? You don't know. Go back to the, to the target. Tap the thing again get another impression. Ah, did you just notice that there are two people standing in front of the thing? Oh, really? Describe the two people. Uh, well, retask yourself. Ah, now, did you notice that there are more people in the background? Okay. Every time in a remote viewing session that you retask yourself to get more details about something, you will always get more details than what you go after. And in the process of doing that, you are going to get more and more and more information about a target. And you can flash this as many times as you want. Okay. When you finished with your sketch and your detailed uh, writing about what's in the picture, then there's another button that says judge your results. And now you bring up the picture full time. Now you judge your sketch, you judge your picture, you judge your uh, description of everything for accuracy. And as you do this, it trains you to notice things faster and more accurately. Now, uh, notice that the buttons have gone now gone back to get a new picture. Let's say you want to do it again. You can either quit or you can get a new picture. Let's get a new one. All right. Here's a new picture. I want to set the thing for uh, one half a second now. All right. Ready? Flash the picture. Ah. Uh, now. Describe as many things as you can about what you saw in the picture. Sketch it and give full descriptions. You didn't notice. Was that grapes in there or was that plums? Oh, I don't know. Well, flash it again and find out. Oh, look, it was plums. Oh, and there was something else in there, too. Did you get what it was? Did you get where the thing was sitting? Did you get details about the basket? No. Task yourself to go back and view it again. Now you're doing that here with the picture. In a remote viewing session, 
you will be doing it with a target. Simply go back and task. Oh, look at that. The basket was hanging. Okay. And when you finish, judge your results. Now, like I say, there are also people pictures. And so I want to get a new picture, but this time I want it to be a people picture. Okay. Now I'm going to describe, not emotionally involve myself with, but physically describe the picture of the person, but describe the person, but also describe their background, describe anything they're holding, describe what they're wearing, describe how they look, and so on. So, okay, I'm going to go back to one second and flash the picture. Ready? Ah, what did you notice? How much can you describe? How much can you draw? Do you need to pick up some details on that? Fine. Flash it again. Okay. And when you finish, judge your results. The program is just as simple as that and easy to use. But as you get to where you get a new picture and you get to where you're down to one tenth of a second. Now in one tenth of a second, you'll find that you can get more details if you practice, okay, in one tenth of a second, you can get more details than you ever could when you were first looking at the thing for one minute. Okay, I'm going to flash the picture. Ah, what all did you see? Describe it, draw it, and give details. Don't remember what's on those banners hanging down? Flash it again. Ah, believe it or not, in one-tenth of a second, you will have trained your brain and your eyes and your mind to pick up huge amounts of detail. This program requires a lot of practice. It requires starting slow. And as you get more and more success, speed up the time. Okay? I hope you enjoy this program. Many people have gotten a lot of good and a lot of mental training out of this program. I think you will too, and I think you'll find that this really will help your remote viewing.